now coming to the different cystodes individually so first we will talk about the tinea solium and tinea cyanata because there is certain similarity between the tinea solium and tinea cyanata the host we have talked in earlier lecture itself that the host are two the definitive and the intermediate so in uh, both of them the definitive host is man and in case of tinea cyanata the intermediate host is the cattle and in case of tinea solium the def intermediate host is a pig now infective form in both of them is larva in case of cyanata it is cystic circus uh, bovis in case of solium it is cystic circus cellulosi then the diagnostic form is the embryonated egg in both of them next comes the mode of transmission in the life cycle so mode of transmission is simply the ingestion of the contaminated undercooked beef or pork which is containing the larva that is the way of uh, transmission of the infection of the tinea solium and the tinea saginata now in humans what happens when when the human eats this contaminated undercooked uh, beef or pork then the larva uh, in the GIT gets con uh, converted into adult worm and since it is monoecious so it gets self-fertilized produces eggs and that egg is released into the feces then we have intermediate host now that egg will lie or uh, that egg will be present in, in the grasses where the fecal matter has been thrown so those eggs while grazing will be eaten by the cattle like uh, will be eaten by the cattle or by the pigs okay so uh, from there those uh, animals get the eggs ingestion so those eggs are ingested by those cattle or the pigs and then these eggs penetrate the intestinal wall okay these eggs penetrate the intestinal wall reaches to the skeletal muscle via the blood and in the uh, skeletal muscle they develop into the larva and there they get deposited into the skeletal muscle so that when the men undercook this food uh, undercook this their fleshes their uh, muscles of these cattle and the pigs then again the cycle starts when they will eat the undercooked food the, then again larva get entry inside the human and again this whole cycle will continue so this is the life cycle of the tinea solium and the tinea saginata both just the difference is in the just the difference is in the uh, infective form uh, infective form and the hosts okay now how will we prevent this how will we prevent this the prevention is simple adequate cooking of beef and pork or for that matter any food materials should be cooked for adequate temperature and uh, cooked at ad adequate temperature for adequate number uh, i mean for adequate time so and then effic effective fecal disposal should be there these are two are the most uh, important preventive measures that we should take for prevention of this tinea solium uh, for this teniasis disease in the human in the community okay now uh, the lab diagnosis we will uh, i have already described the lab diagnosis in the general overview of the paras uh, i mean general overview of the lab diagnosis of the parasitological disorders the same lab diagnosis will fit here also just you have to pick up the lines for the tinea saginata and tinea solium and by that you can write the lab diagnosis uh, of this uh, tinea solium and for teniasis by the tinea solium or tinea saginata also and uh, by the by that you can write the answer remember whenever they will uh, give you the question over this tinea solium or tinea saginata the clinical scenario will be of a uh, of a Hindu uh, man or a Muslim man if they are giving you a Hindu man then they will give you a I mean the clinical scenario will be like that if they are giving you a Hindu man then the most likely infection will be with the tinea solium and if they are giving you a Muslim man then the most likely infection will be with the tinea saginata huh?